That's <laughs> where me. I hope they understand the double entendre. It is meant as a threat. Hello everyone, my name is Gracian, and welcome to episode 4 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4. We are playing as Chef Gobble. I apologize, my neighbors are leaf blowing, I think, so I can hear the whine of the machinery outside. So I hope you can't hear that. I think it's coming through a little bit sometimes. Maybe if I talk continuously, you won't be able to hear it. I'm just kidding. Okay, so what we did is we accidentally found this guy's capital, like, real freaking close to where I just settled a city. And I feel kind of bad, because I just forward settled this guy so hard. Though he does have this space. Um, okay, I feel like this guy has, like, 12 setting levels on his leaf blower. So one of, one of those is very loud. Okay, I have to keep recording, so I hope I hope it it's not too too bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get let's get our orders required here. So we've got a, a little group of guys here. Um, we're gonna fight that small monster den. I do have a support unit. Let's give them one more turn to heal up in the territory. At least they can just jump over this uh, river, and then we'll go cr crush that thing down there. Now up here, we were gonna settle yet again. Uh, here. And then, um, I know that there's monsters below, so we may have to, to make sure we have an army up here soon. So you guys are all set. Now let's, let's head up. I really got to find Arctica. So I'm going to take manual control of this guy again and send him up this way. Because I got to figure out where she is. Alignment change to evil. Random events have a 10% chance to be negative. Plus 10% chance. 18 dawns. You meet up. Um, those are pretty fast, actually. She might be able to catch up. Yeah, she can catch up next turn and be part of the fight. Ex excellent. So, Chef Gobble, I am so... Uh, shit, I made a huge mistake. Maybe I need to not turn this into a city after all. Yeah. It's got a fair few units wandering around. Uh, let's see here. We've just got the shield units, the warriors. They look pretty gnarly. Poisonous. Sunderers. Slithers. Um, do I do something with this? Are we close to any breakthroughs? No. I thought there was something about founding cities in one of these trees. Maybe they took it out. Maybe it was too strong. There used to be something like that. Uh, roads can be built and excavation. Do I need roads yet? I think there's naturally already roads going most places I need to go. Like there's one from the bandits hideaway on the coast all the way through two cities and up to my third one that's going to be a city. I should probably make some armor, some more units. He's going to declare war on me. Uh, Rogue Mirage. This is some sort of quest with blessed souls. I'm not getting involved in that. No thanks. Deal with it yourself. That took my entire turn just to disembark, I thought. Mark it if we have a second farm. Library, walls, uh, granary if we have two foresters, which we can get at two turns. Summon the zealot, actually. Um, do that up here. 
Should have a rally soon. Okay, they're kind of... Kind of surrounded me here. We might have to go to war with these guys. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start making units. So down here we'll make, oh, infinite. That's right, I lost my uh, draft in this town for a few turns. Uh, this guy, I built this scout to go look around under here. Oh. Cool, and I know you can also, um, you can annex down below now as well. So I should be able to annex below and grab this eventually, which would be good. Fanatical workforce. All right, select a new tome. Let's go to either um, chaos, materium, or order. So this would let us get Fury of the Horde, Hound Masters, which got pretty badly nerfed. In my opinion, far too nerfed, to be honest. This is a tier two unit with 40 health now. I think something's not right. And this Warhound has 25 health. Spawnkin, um, summon irregulars, a random non-scout tier one. Also get something like pyromancy. I mean, we do need fire in order to cook our food. We're not monsters. We eat our food cooked most of the time, sometimes. But we do have a lot of fiends on this planet that don't give a, a shit about my, uh, my fire damage. Tome enchantment, spell tempered shields, copper golem, awakened tools, sundering blades, reducing defense. It's not really what I'm looking for here. Physical range attacks of enchanted units get plus one range. Is that my cat? Oh, hang on just a moment. <sighs> okay, let's go let's go over to order. Um Tome of Faith. Faithful Worshippers, Chaplain. Chaplain's a tier two, so that's a support unit that gets healing prayers and bless. Target friendly units get fortune strengthened resistance. Healing prayer, negative status effects removed. This heals an army health, like outside of combat. Which is, I don't think, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure I've ever chosen this tome now that I look at it. Staves of mending, faithful, um, and mending touch. So it gives our support units extra healing powers. Target enemy unit sustains spirit damage. For each stability level above unstable, cities gain knowledge and mana. Okay, let's give her a try. When faith fuels the embers of one's spirit. Yeah, army heal sounds good. It's also randomly cheaper. Okay, let's get everybody over here on the city. I'm not sure. If he's thinking about making some move, but if I have the outpost, I'll feel a little better. I assume the outpost has some sort of defensive measures better than just um, the forest, even if there's no walls yet. But I don't know. I've never fought on an outpost without walls. Oh, they're spitting out units. Uh... If I go here, oh my god! I can't believe my neighbor isn't done yet. Now he's mowing. He leaf blowed. He leaf blowed first, and now he's mowing. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. Unless you're like vehemently opposed to mulching the leaves, which is not good. The leaves are good for your yard's health. Just saying. Please don't kill that guy. Thank you. All right, Eagle Bow. Okay, here we go. Um, this is just a better bow, but it's boring. 20% accuracy, a white wolf mount. Gives Pack Hunter, Frost Resistance, Cavalry very fast. Deals damage and applies weaken to enemies within one hex. That's, um, we're gonna put Gobble on that, I think. That's a Gobble weapon. Why are you here? Oh, you retreated from the fight. Interesting, interesting.
So we've inspected that. I don't need to know what's down there. Let's go. Let's go over this way. Chef Gobble. Okay, let's put you on a warg. As if you couldn't get any scarier. All right, where are you, Artica? Outpost founded. Uh, make another city, and then we have to we have to buy um, another city slot. But we can do that like in the next few turns. This costs two hundred, so in three turns we can do it when this becomes a city, and then we won't have the uh, economic penalty. So it'd be perfect. Annex another province. We need another farm to boost this, which I will happily do. Uh, we'll grab this one. I'll boost that market up. These still can't be produced yet. Summon Zealot is ready to go. Suppose I should put him up here in case things go south. So we've got three Zealots. Oh, these guys are all gold medals now. I should probably take out, like... Take out these ones that are the least likely to actually... Like, I don't care as much about this. So let's send these ones in because they can start getting that extra two experience per turn. The first medal... I, if you guys have watched my series, you know how I feel about this. The first medal is so important because it gives them that little bit of extra health that can make a big difference. And the first level is only 10 experience. That's like a combat or just a handful of turns under an experienced leader. Fanatical Workforce... For three turns, the city gets production and minus food. So we don't, I don't think we need that yet because I think growing is very important right now. Um, and we don't really have the cash to be, you know, ripping through buildings as fast as we can, but that will be a useful one, especially later on when we get like new cities, like maybe this one, we need to like hurry up and get walls or something like that. going on this is taking a suspiciously long number of time amount of time yeah see it said rulers are moving there's somebody else which is Artica I'm sure now there's blue is she underground she must have started underground somewhere where is there enough space here maybe this is under the water though unless there's land up here Oh yeah, here's a way down. And this is a new city. Wait, wait, wait. Is this his color? I'm colorblind, so I cannot tell if this is the same color as this guy. I guess it looks like it must be. So maybe Artica is over here. I don't know. I really want to know where she is because she, like I've seen other people on YouTube play against her and she's really strong. Um, just like most of the other ones, like she starts off so much stronger than everybody else that she's, you know, going to be the one that you either beat her and win or you lose essentially is what's going to happen. So we've got a scout up there. So we've got this extra scout that's not doing anything at the moment. I guess we go over here. So he's got tier twos, a couple tier twos popping out. We got, pers what are these called? Furies. I always want to call them pursuers. I like the color scheme here. This is nice. City name sucks though. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so the one that needs experience the most is, let's take these ones out. Do you have experience leader yet? No, just inspiring. Oh yeah, we can grab this hut down here that gets closer to this battleground keep. Counts as a quarry. I'm guessing it's going to count as a quarry. It gives Imperium. It gives a lot of research. It can be said as a, as a brewer and butcher ogre. Do I want to go for that now? Yeah, why not? Get a hut. It's a crappy hut down here. 
two, two food. Dormant enchantment, fanatical workforce. Summon zealot. Cue that boy up again. Still don't have any. When's that rally? One turn. So in one turn we'll get a random ogre unit. Probably the frost one. Be good against the uh, fiends around the world. It's an earth elemental. There's a, a, an evil mole zealot. Valiant mold wraps. Warps. Mold warps. <laughs> what? What the fuck's happening? Okay. Or is required. Okay. So you're going to go over here. I really want to know. Okay. So there's something blocking here on this pasture. So where should I send you? Um, there's these to clear out. There's this bandit's way. So maybe the next time I recruit a hero, which will be soon, maybe this turn, uh, we'll make an army up for to go down below into that one. And this army... Uh, let's take you guys up. You need to spend a little bit of time healing. And uh, you can wait around for the uh, next army to be produced. So we're getting... Oh my god, our draft is still blocked. Gosh, when does that end? One turn. Okay, so I can't produce anything over this turn, but the next turn, when I end turn, I'll get draft again. Gosh. Terrible. So I've got this little city... Um, walls. <laughs> Go ahead and build those first for no particular reason. So we've got a little army here. Uh, what is below? Oh shit, his territory is down there too. Oh, this city might not last too long. All right, let's go down here. We've gotta keep ourselves busy with fights or we'll grow weak and complacent. crown what is chef gobble wearing well he's wearing a crown in his art so i think he should definitely be wearing a crown here that is super cool okay level up points so we've got everything i think we need down in here i want him him to be a extremely tanky unit so let's i'm gonna give him defense so it gives him a bit of evasion, which will stack nicely with quick reflexes. So this guy's going to be 30% harder to hit with range attacks now. Which is awesome. That means, essentially, so the, the normal amount is going to be 90%. So that means the best you're going to get against him, if he's not marked, is probably 60% chance to hit. So that's good. Where is Artica? Show yourself. Okay, there's his capital. Okay. I don't need a whole lot more information from down here, but good to know. Oh, not the serpents. I want the I want the the brewer ogre. Not the serpents. Oh, well, they still do. Plague Serpent Poisons. Low Maintenance is good. So he would recruit, he would cost 9 gold and 1 mana per turn. He's got a Fire Weakness. Maybe that's not a good idea. This guy's got Frost Weakness. I mean, the Fire Weakness is more important now because I'm not fighting Arctica. I'm fighting the random like demons and stuff. So let's get the uh, Storm Scale Serpent. Recruit to Throne City. 75 bucks is a cheap tier 2. It's also cheaper upkeep. Army heal. Okay. Um, Wrath of the Faithful. Target enemy unit sustains damage, plus more for each faithful unit, up to 8. So it can actually sustain up to 50 spirit damage for faithful units in battle. So. How do we get everybody to be faithful? That was an, a research, right? Faithful Whispers. Where's the... Tome of Faith. How do I make everybody faithful? Uh, 
I'm not sure how to get everybody to be faithful. Maybe it's um Maybe it's something I can give my commander or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to work on it though. Pa Pavlos uh no, we're going to call this um uh let me think about this. Okay, I got it. We're going to call this city Alligator Meat. You get it? <laughs> That's where me. I hope they understand the double entendre. It is meant as a threat. All right, welcome to Alligator Meat. <laughs> okay, heroes. We can hire heroes. Uh, oh, this witch person's back. Specialist engineer. That's such a weird bonus, though. I guess you could trade her around as the leader of different cities i just don't want to bother with that so so much ugh. unaffected by the bonus effects of charge attacks but can be countered with heavy charge that's not a bad power to have if you're going to be frontline starting with a high shield and a high scimitar starts with a helmet and a warg but i do have a lot of cool range units i might maybe i'll give her that big ass halberd instead here yeah 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 Let's, uh, give, let's give you this sweet looking halberd thing. Yeah, you can go in here and stab the shit out of people. And you have charge. So you can go after... Oh, that makes you really good against cavalry because they don't get a charge on you and you do get a... Oh, wait, this gives double charge resistance? Okay, straight... Grants Cavalry Slayer, Giant Slayer, First Strike, plus two retaliations. Where's the extra charge resistance coming from? Okay. Obviously, this gives it to her, but it doesn't say that it does that. So I guess this isn't the right target for this. What the hell? What the hell's going on? I guess I could make this person a, the staff user. She's all, The only skills she has is uh, plus 10 health. Um, and that's in support, so we can get the experience leader faster. So I guess you're going to end up being a... Um, are you wearing a crown on the outside of your helmet? That's strange. We're going to have to take that um, that crown off. Uh, where is that? Yeah, wait, why is there a crown attached? There we go. We'll give you that one. Lady Grace the Guardian. There we go. You can't have a crown. Only Chef Gobble. Chef Gobble's the king of the kitchen. No governor set for alligator meat. <laughs> I mean, you, got, you guys can admit that you're impressed with my stupid joke. <laughs> Alright, so I need, like, ranged units or something. She's... Give her a zealot. And then I produce a pike, and then a sun priest. And then a dust hunter, and then that'll be good, I guess. You go deal with these. Okay, so I have four out of three cities. Oh, quest for cultivation. Build improvement quest. Build uh, three farms in... 25 turns. That's fine. I can do that. That would be really easy. We're building cities like crazy. So let's see. So this is giving me... What is the penalty for having too many cities? Uh, population multipliers. City stability. Stable city cap. Minus 10. Now is it minus 10 because that's a, a um, percentage? Minus 27. Yeah, some kind of percentage. So we're down to 37 gold. So if we buy a city cap, we gain 50 gold. Yeah, okay. Big, kind of a big deal. Um, all right, great. So we don't have any cash. We have no money. So what do we do here? I guess we build the storehouse. Even though you're not going to be able to get a forester. That's fine. 
We still need it for the growth. So you just build, make uh, money for a turn here. You can also cancel these guys. Build something else. The tavern would give me even more city stability. Which would boost this stuff up. Okay, that'll be good. You guys need to come over and heal. And then we'll go out and explore a little bit. Maybe go down below here. So you're building up a quick army. And you're taking yours over to these areas here. So let's just go here, stay in the borders. And then you're going to go down below in the Gorgon's Lair. Okay. We have that serpent coming too. I forgot about that. Forbidden Shrine. I wonder if I can reach that with one of these cities. Is this Highlands? No, this is Forest. So this is annexable. So that's... um. Oh no, because there's two mountains bordering here. So I can never grab this, unfortunately. Alright, go back up. I, I want to find Artica. No? Shit. Did he... Oh, he's got units on the top of that thing. So I'm just stuck down here, I guess. Okay, whatever. I'm going to put you on auto-explore. I don't want to deal with this right now. Lucerna founded. Uh, so this is our fishing... Okay, so this is a fishing town. It's got to have something to do with eating. Um... Oh, what can I call this? All right, I think I'll call this uh, Glutton's Bay. I think that sounds kind of cool. It's just a, uh, just a, a smorgasbord of eating fish and sushi and stuff. And then we've got farmland around here. So it's just going to be like, you just this is where all the food goes. All the food that we don't eat gets exported out here for our economy. It's important to have a really in-depth... Uh, <laughs> headcanon about how your culture works or it's no fun at all uh so we do have to end episode here we are all out of time um we're making coins here for a turn i don't want to do that i want to make this tavern okay so we're gonna run out of money soon but that's because i'm trying to have like a ton of armies but we should have the cities to support this in the long run we're already up to four that's gonna be fantastic we have three heroes so we want to build up some cash so we can get a fourth hero um yeah and then i think you know these guys are probably going to end up... Yeah, we're at negative 575, 515, 640. Everybody hates me, as usual. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Somebody will eventually like me because I'll go to war with somebody and you know how it goes. It's like a high school drama in here. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you have, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you think Chef Gobble's favorite food is probably out of the options we've seen so far. Uh, like and subscribe. Check the link in the description for my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Lowest tier is only three bucks a month. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next episode.